I've been asked, why do we even blend tea in the first place? Well, it's a good question. I mean, tea as it comes off the bush is a, a wonderful drink. And there's a big trend at the moment for you know, so-called single estate teas, i.e. teas that have come from one particular tea plantation. And when those tea plantations are very good, that's a great thing. And it's a really enjoyable and interesting way to taste tea. However, Tea is a natural product that varies according to various natural reasons, for example, how much rain, how much sun, um, and so on. And above all, of course, the skill of the tea maker, the man who's running the factory, um, who can easily um, ruin a batch of tea or indeed absolutely um, improve it. So the aim of blending, um, as with certain types of wine, such as champagne, the aim of blending is to iron out those in inconsistencies and produce one house style that you can rely upon to some degree, always to taste the same. You will be familiar with your um, supermarket blends and those go back to the days of the old grocers when a particular grocer would buy a range of teas, blend them together to produce the desired flavour and you would come to know that that person made a blend of tea that you liked. Now, I mentioned there um, bringing together the different flavours. That's the second reason for uh, blending teas. Assam tea has a particular flavour, Kenya tea has a particular flavour, uh, you know, Malawi tea, and so on. They all have their own individual flavours. And you, it's, it's really astonishing how when you combine those flavours, they change. So the, relate, the reaction between the different flavours is very frequently not what you would necessarily expect. So with tea blending you really can produce something that is greater than the sum of its parts. Um, and then there's one third and final reason which is perhaps not very romantic, um, perhaps almost disappointing, but it is something that is about the real world which is money. So the price of tea fluctuates just as the quality of tea fluctuates. Um, it also fluctuates because of um, exchange rates and another oil price for shipping and so on and other factors so uh, blending together a number of different teas allows us to um, iron out fluctuations in the price of tea so that we can we can absorb changes um, and then not pass them on to you the customer um, you know via possibly the supermarkets um, that of course is also the mechanism by which tea quality has declined so enormously over the last 50 years in supermarkets because the buying price has remained relatively, well, has remained constant, but within, with sort of frequent cuts, you know, little by little over the years. And the way that the tea companies have adapted to that is by, by gradually changing the blend down and down and down. So there we are, there's three reasons why it's a, a really good idea to blend teas. Um, so we iron out the flavour, um, we iron out the price and of course we produce a named blend that you know is always hopefully going to taste, taste more or less the same. But that is not at all to take away from the interest and excitement of drinking those, those single origin teas from wonderful and famous estates. So I hope that was interesting. Uh, thank you very much.